guys, it's Jules. This is my front door. Welcome to my home. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of my living slash dining room. You'll see why we're doing both in one video when we go inside. I'm going to do a little bit of a haul of sorts of all of my things. I really decorated my house on a budget, you guys. I mean tight budget. Most of my things, as you will see, were bought on Craigslist. Uh, or for discounted prices. So if you like what you see inside, just know that if you are on a budget, you too can accomplish something sort of similar to this. So let's go in. Okay, so when you come in, the first thing you see is a really cute dog. Yeah, actually you'll see three if you come in first. <laughs> uh, but in front of you here is a mirror. So the first thing you see when you walk into my house is this sort of set up here. And I don't have any burning right now because I have a wax warmer and candles going, but I usually have some incense burning right there. Um, hi. <laughs> I um, got this set here. This actually whole thing came as a set from Kmart for $20, I believe, which honestly, you know, we're renting this house, guys. So a lot of the stuff that I bought for it, I, I really just, it's not that it's not nice stuff. I just really wanted to find stuff that um, wasn't going to cost, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars and would still look pretty. So I think that's a rather nice way to walk in uh, to an entryway. I think there might be some feng shui thing about having a mirror facing the door. Am I right about that? I know, yeah, but tell me if you know anything about feng shui, if that's true. Um, then you come around here, we have just a little coat closet with an umbrella and this uh, thing from Ross, this was $13 and I just thought it was like a nice kind of um, earthy looking simple thing to keep in this corner hallway here. So turning around, this is what you see when you first come into my house. Um, this is the living room and the reason we are doing a living dining room tour today, both, is because it's an open floor plan, as you can see. So let me turn on the light here, it's getting dark. Um, it's an open floor plan. There we go. So the living and dining room are kind of connected. I tried to separate them in the way that I place the furniture, like the console table and the couch, so that it creates a divide between the two rooms. But there's nothing really keeping them apart. And I like the open floor plan, really. It's nice for entertaining. Um, so, okay. Let's start with the dining room, since it's the closest to the door here. And I'll turn around so you can see the dining room. And then we will walk into the living room. And I'm sorry if this is shaky, guys. Um, so, let's step back a little further here so you can see the whole thing. Um, this is the dining room right there and then behind it over there and back is the kitchen and the front door that you just came through as you saw before. Um, so let's start over here with the bookshelf. I'm really pleased with this bookshelf. I must say, even if we move or rather when we move from this house and buy our own house, I will probably keep this bookshelf, um, just because it really fills a lot of space and looks really nice. But believe it or not, I got this entire bookshelf for $150 on Craigslist. And guys, it's like a three piece wood bookshelf, like beautiful with these like cool medieval looking metal, um, wow, English words. Um, whatever these things are, yeah, and it has like space inside, and that's where we keep all of our board games, and then in here it has sort of like a writing desk type thing, which is where we hide all the liquor, <laughs> um, so yeah, and everything that I've decorated the bookshelf with is also under probably like 10 to $15. So what I try to do when I decorate you guys is make these little like moments, like little areas that you can look at as a whole and think that looks nice on its own, it looks nice together, and it complements everything above and below it. Um, so in here, everything is basically Goodwill. Goodwill, Goodwill, wine corks, this letter K, it's kind of dark. Dang it, oh well, you see it. Um, this letter K was given to me by my dear friend Natalie as a gift when we moved into the house, and uh, I guess that's called a housewarming gift. 
and I really like it. I just think it's a nice, simple little shelf, and I left some empty space right there in the middle. Never underestimate the power of empty space, guys. It's a really kind of crucial thing in decorating so that everything doesn't look cramped and cluttered. Okay, so this shelf here, um, again, most of these things, this, this is um, sage. I like to sage my house and just sort of like clear out the energy once in a while. So um, this basket I got from Goodwill for like a dollar, the sage, the abalone shell that you put the sage in, the feather that you waft the smoke with um, was all from Amazon. So these book, um, empty frames back here, I sort of just used to add something structural, add a little bit of like a metallic finish to add some different texture to the bookshelf. And I just love the look of empty frames. I used to have up a lot more, but I'm slowly taking things off of the walls and putting them in places where I can just lay them and where they're temporary. Because again, we're renting, we're gonna move, and I just don't wanna have too much like permanent stuff hung up on the walls. So I took this down and just stacked those frames, put them there. Each one of those frames was probably like 50 cents. Um, wedding picture. Uh, down here, I have childhood books. I keep all my childhood books that, um, I don't know why, I just like children's books. This is from Target. It's a little uh, book end and it's a lion, I believe. And I really just like the pattern on it. I think that's really cool. And then there's me and my brother. And that frame was probably like, nine or ten dollars at either Ross or Marshall's. Goodwill, both the blanket and the basket, probably like five or six dollars for each. That is a bat from the movie that I did called To Write Love on Her Arms. It's signed by my best friend who starred in the movie with me. And here we just kept a few, well, I kept a few liquor bottles. <laughs> Guys, I swear we're not like alcoholics. We just, I think that these are really cool, like looking liquor bottles. This one is a scotch that I gave my husband. It says here, 6-19-2015, first anniversary. I gave it to him for um, our first wedding anniversary and just wrapped some burlap around it so it looked a little more decorative. And we put the notes that we wrote to each other inside of it and we're gonna put notes inside of it every year on our anniversary, so I just kind of keep those down there. So we have a little like cool liquor theme and the baseball bat and I don't know, it's like things that don't necessarily match, but in a weird way, I feel like they work together. So down here, we have more Goodwill bins for like a dollar or less, my photo albums, the shell that we got in Mexico in the water. This frame was a gift from my mother for our wedding, another wedding photo and albums. Um, here, I really love this photo. It's like got this really cool wood frame and um, as you can see, it's got buffalo and it's an original done by the artist. There's like, it's printed on the back there who did it. Um, I guess we should give it a shout out, shouldn't we? It was, it's called Somewhere in the Mist Mixed Media Original Charcoal by Carol Snow. So Carol Snow, a native of the Allegheny, Allegheny, does anyone know how to pronounce this word? Allegheny Indian Reservation in New York State. Interesting. So thank you, Carol, for this beautiful painting that I have in my bookshelf. I love it. Um, next, a little tea light holder from uh, Marshall's. It was $6. It's Nicole Miller. I just love the wood with a little bit of like metallic accent. Uh, this is just a really cool kind of oriental looking um, lantern that I got from my grandmother-in-law. And then if you come up here, I have a clock that was a gift from my director from Dolphin Tail. It has a little quote on this plaque that keeps falling off. I need to glue, glue that in there. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, Maybe just today's not the day. And this little plant, fake plant that I got from Goodwill for like a dollar. And this awesome book that my friend Mark Saul made me. He's an awesome actor. He's really talented. He has um, a company called Novel Brand on Etsy where he makes books like this with like whatever you want written in it. It's awesome. Up here, that is probably from Ross or Marshall's little willow tree figurine we got for our wedding. 
another fake Goodwill plant. I'm not a huge fan of fake plants. I mix fake and real plants, but there's some spots that I just know when I travel, my husband is not going to remember to water, and that is one of them. And then over there, just a bunch of Ross and Goodwill stuff. Our wine snobs have more fun sign. Um, that is a fake candle. It's battery operated because I will never remember to take care of a candle that's all the way up there. And this sign was given to us as a gift. Uh, last shelf here. These are actually very like nice, I think expensive pieces of pottery. One is called, I think, Roseville. I forget what the other one is called, but there are two types. This is one type and this is another type. As you can see, they look, you know, there's like sort of a different style to them. And my mother-in-law loves this and my uncle-in-law loves this. So we're starting our own little collection. Another wedding picture, a little um, oil lamp, which was a gift from my mother-in-law. And that is it for the bookshelf. I just have this little like, uh, dresser kind of thing here which I actually repainted myself it used to be all like white and I just darkened it up then I have frankincense in here because I love to burn incense and it's really cool looking it almost looks like oh it is little rocks and you put it on top of charcoal here I have my oil warmer and um it is filled with a like cranberry plum oil right now so the house smells really good and then this is just a little candle that I keep on top of here and this is a little base I made for it out of newspaper let i'm sorry no out of magazines let me know if you guys want me to teach you how to make this little diy you can actually keep going and make it into like a garbage pail or um something else but i got lazy so i just turned it into a candle holder oh i guess i should show you this mirror too this mirror was um 50 at marshall's it's i don't know if it's just me or if it looks as dark to you as it does to me if it does i'm really sorry I just thought it was cool. It's like got kind of like license plate, Texas license plates around it, and it's just like earth tones, and I really liked it. This was from Ross. Well, I think it was like $50. I don't know. I forget. But for this guy here, and um, up here, I have a plant, another empty frame back there, and a little like statue that you're supposed to meditate with and put crystals in here or, you know, wishes in here and kind of leave them and me. I've had him for a really long time since I was a kid. Um, I feel so bad because I feel like this whole video is dark, but I'm sure you guys are all right. This is a shelf I'm really happy with and proud of. I actually made it today because I was planning on doing a DIY with the old lamp that was here, but I kind of screwed it up royally. So um, this is what we have now as our fixer, and I actually like it more than what was here before. This is a $6 dollar store lamp. I filled it up with old wine corks and stacked it on top of a few old books that I already had, and that is that shelf. Uh, down here on the second to bottom shelf where it's getting really dark, don't think you can see it at all, there's a really lovely tea set for my mom, and then just some extra vases on the bottom. Um, here are pictures of all of our loved ones along the windowsill, and here is our tea table and this is going to kind of do it for the living room so i'm sorry the dining room so this is our table i hate our dining room table <laughs> now i shouldn't say i hate i'm grateful i'm very grateful for our dining room table but i'm just done with it like i want more chairs i want a different style it's all messed up from years of me not treating it right because we've had this since we were like 21 or 22 we're now 30. it was a really sweet gift from peter's mom i kind of you know I don't know. I thought about reupholstering the seats. That's the other thing. Like one of these chairs broke and I had to fix the leg. So it's all wonky and it's like the cushions are just kind of like gross. And if we were going to stay here for longer, I might consider repainting and reupholstering, but I sort of just want a new one. These are some fake candles that I keep here. I used to keep real ones, but it was just too annoying with all the dripping wax all the time. Oh, and also I, I like that look of having flowers paired with candles and I would be nervous to set the flowers on fire if they were real. So that's it, let's go into the living room. Oh, and this is a lamp, by the way, that I got from Salvation Army for $30 and it is vintage. Here, coming into the living room, I have this wall decor. I cannot, I think, I think it was from Amazon. I wanna say it was from Amazon. Um, was it from Amazon? It was either from, no, it was from Target. I think it was from Target. Um, I put this here because it was a really big wall to fill up. I can't put, like, 
I would love to have some cool thing to put here, but the doggies have to live right there. So I, I don't want to put anything heavy above their crates. So I have the dog's crates here. They're all <laughs> very particular about how they like their blankets. So Brooklyn's the only one who's kept hers in order since I made the bed rainbow. Hmm, you like to move yours around a little bit. So here's the living room. And I find it really cozy uh, and nice to hang out in and spend time in. So starting here, we have our console table. This console table I got for $50 at Goodwill and I really like it. Um, it used to have a piece of glass, I think, right here, but uh, I don't know what happened to that. So I just took a piece of burlap and like laid it along the console table and I don't know, I think it looks cute. Um, picture of us, that frame is from Marshalls. There's my little speaker, which I love. That Bose speaker is worth every penny. Even though I didn't pay for it, it was a gift. I would totally buy another one because it is just so powerful for such a small speaker. Harry Connick Jr. gave me that speaker. Isn't that cool? So then this is my little <laughs> dog figurine, which I got from, or my dog bust, which I got from Marshalls. I love this so much. It's like one of those little heads that you see of the old composers, but it's a dog. Clearly I'm obsessed with dogs. Um, and then this tray also from Marshalls for $5. These are the books that we wrote our vows in. This is Peter's and uh, this one is mine. So I keep those out there because I just think it's good energy and I like to be able to read them and have them accessible. And this little thing is $5 from Ross. I just thought it was cool. Little ball. There's a planet. <laughs> Um, down here, I got this on sale at Ross and I got a discount, so it was like $10 because there's a tiny chip in the glass. It's just this cool little lantern. And then in here is where I keep our magazines. This was a gift, this end table, as well as our glass coffee table. And I would never really recommend having glass uh, coffee tables again because they really are a pain in the butt to clean and you see every little piece of dirt and dust that lands on them but i am kind of happy that we have them now because our furniture is so bulky that if we also had like heavy wood coffee tables and end tables it would just be way too much so i'm actually quite happy with these right now this lamp is the best find of my life it was ten dollars at goodwill i thought it was a hundred dollars and i asked them to see if i could get a discount and she was like honey that doesn't say hundred dollars that says ten dollars and i was like what because it's so sturdy and like, ugh, I just love it. It looks like a cork and it's like real solid iron. Really like it. This is a little picture of our doggies. Um, this was a cool, cool wedding gift. It's an oil diffuser and you put the oil in and then you turn it on. And I just think it looks so cool. Like, I feel like it looks like something out of Sherlock Holmes or something and I love it. So the, the smoke comes out of there and it just makes the house smell really nice. I'm going to turn it off though because it's a little bit loud. But this is just a cool little like fishing piece of decor that my husband had as a kid. This entire set I got for $600 on Craigslist. It is real Italian leather. But we had it checked out by a leather guy because we have dogs and they did that. That's awesome. And they did that, which actually the repair looks way better on that. They started getting into it a little bit more, so I just cover it with blankets. They've gotten a lot better. It's mostly this one who likes to gnaw at the couches, the big one, because she's a baby still. But they haven't done it in a really long time, so, you know, what are you going to do? These couches, I put lots of pillows and blankets on them. All the pillows are pretty much from, like, all the places I always go to, like Marshalls and Ross, except that these two awesome big leather ones were from like randomly Walmart and I saw them and I just thought they looked so cool. I like things that are a little bit funky and mismatched in case you couldn't already tell. So even though it's like, I like things that look like they work together, but then it's also like they don't. I don't know. I just, I like that. So that is sort of why everything's all discombobled. This was just a really big wall that it was like a lot of space to fill and I wanted something that looked natural and organic and rustic. So I went to Michael's and I got these like bamboo sticks. I don't know if they were actually bamboo, but just these sticks in like the fake flower section of, the, of Michael's for like, I don't know, $10. And I just like nailed them into the wall and I think it looks really cool. 
over here I have another little end table, little Goodwill uh, basket, this lamp. I love it. It was from Ross. It was $20. This book, Splendors of the Sea, was a gift from my dad. And this painting was, I think, $50 from Home Goods. Down here I have more pictures in the windowsill. This is an antique um, uh, an antique ladder or quilt holder. My first antique. My mom made this amazing blanket, so I keep it here because I just think it's so vibrant and fun. She just made it by hand. She's amazing. TV stand, Craigslist, $50. Um, the moose head, love him. I need a name for him, guys. What should his name be? He, I asked Peter to get him for me for one of our anniversaries before we were married. Everybody made fun of me for asking that for our gift, for my gift, um, but I really like it. Here's our chair, big and comfy. Pillows, black one is from, um, Target, brown one is from Kmart. Blanket is from Target here. I love trays. That one is an indoor outdoor tray, so I keep it close to the outdoor door and we kind of bring it in and out throughout the day. That is an indoor tray and it holds our remotes and whatever drinks we might have or snacks. That's where Peter and I sit and that's why I put the autumn in there. Pills from Kmart, blanket $4 from Goodwill. I just love that little like Southwestern pattern. I grew up in New Mexico a little bit and my family is there now. So that reminds me of home. And okay, so coffee table I talked about. Again, I put another strip of burlap down the middle. It's such a cheap way to decorate you guys. Um, burlap is really great. It's like you just throw a piece of it on something and it looks better. I got those little plates for the candles at Tuesday morning for not a lot of money and the candles themselves I got from Marshall's, the lighter that I made for our wedding. It was just a regular white wider, lighter and some um, like bedazzled ribbon for Michael's. And this one I have, um, this was a gift from my friend's dad. He gave it to me at his shop. He was the one who sold me my wedding ring, not the engagement ring, but the, oh yeah, there we go, the lower ring here. He gave that to me, or didn't give it to me, but he sold it to my husband to give to me and then gave me this as a gift. And I just love it. It reminds me of like the Hunger Games or something. So I leave it here. I just love the little metal accent. And then here I just keep, um, this, these were our wedding favors. They're keys, but they're bottle openers. And I just think they're so cute. So I keep one here along with a lighter for the candle. Uh, let's see. And then over here, this is the last corner, I guess. Well, we have a plant from Home Depot. This plant was actually $10 and it's huge and it's so strong. We keep the dog's toys in this little metal thingy here. And then my keyboard, which was an incredible gift from Peter, I keep there. Along with this painting that was $50 from Ross. I don't know, there's just something that I like about it. So yeah, and I keep my music in this magazine holder that I got for uh, $19 from Goodwill. with like real leather straps and it's real iron. It's really nice. And back here I have my Go Girl gigantic knitting needles. These are actual knitting needles, you guys. If you can believe that. They are massive and they make really big fluffy blankets really fast. And I am completely obsessed with them. So, yes. So, that is my living slash dining room tour. I'm sorry if it was either too long or not long enough. I always worry because some people like super long blogs or vlogs and some people if you don't just get right to the point and say all right here's my living room here's my dining room see you guys next time they get annoyed so let me know always communicate with me it's the best way to get what you want when you watch my channel and i appreciate you guys we just hit 16,000 subscribers which is so unbelievable and i just want you guys to know that i love you i appreciate you and i will see you again next time be sure to subscribe below comment below and hit the old thumbs up button if you liked it all right guys i'll see you next time bye get out get out get out get out